Hey guys, Brad here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a gun by Max USA. This is the Max Super Roofer. I absolutely love Max guns. As you can see behind me here, I've got the stapler, two framing nailers, and the coil framing nailer. So I've been using Max guns a really long time. Max USA was awesome enough to send this out to me for a review, honest opinion. So I'm gonna go through it here and let's take a good look at how this thing operates. All right, let's get to it. This gun is really sturdy. It's nice and light. For starters, on the front here, this is a coil nailing gun. So this is for roofing nails. They will take nails just like this, full round head. You're shooting anywhere between three quarters of an inch and inch and three quarters. So that's the capacity of this nail gun. Inside, you just open this up and we've got a disc in here which you can actually adjust. You just pull it up and give it a twist and that can set to all your different heights. So really easy to adjust between that three quarter and inch and three quarter capacity. While we've got this open, you can see we've got a little magnet in here which holds the nails in place. That'll hold up to the last nail, no problem, so you're not having any misfires. We've also got buried back in there the pin. Now this is a full round head pin. So that means when you're firing these nails, you're not gonna get any curvature or cupping to the nail itself. That's gonna embed that nail fully. So that's a nice feature as well. So to get the nails in, let me show you how you do that. You just put it in the disc, pull up the strand, lay it in place, the magnet holds it, no problem. Close this, close that part, and that's it. That's all you gotta do, super easy. Now we've got full adjustment of depth right here, and that's this dial on the side. So you can just rotate this wherever you need to adjust that depth to get that perfect nail shot. We also have a locking switch, really easy to use with your thumb. Right now that's unlocked, just press down and rotate and that's locked. So the trigger's locked right now, push it there. Now it's unlocked. Guys, if you're liking the video, please subscribe, hit that notify bell, and give me a thumbs up if you're liking the video. It definitely helps out the channel. And leave some comments down below, I'd love to talk to you. I'm not a professional roofer, but I do roof sometimes, and I'd love to hear from the actual roofers out there, see what guns they use. The front is a tar resistant tip, so what that means is as you're firing along, if you get tar on there, or if this is really wet, sometimes it can build up on the tips. Well, this is a resistant tip so you're not going to get a lot of build up on here if you do super easy to clean because it's all metal construction it's really really durable having that tar resistant tip is a really great feature to have now you can clear jams no problem you just have to undo these two allen keys and you can pull it all apart if this does jam on you though the easier way is just to open this up and you can just pull that nail out so chances of you having to take this thing apart pretty slim. On the bottom, you actually have a gauge here, which you can undo. It comes with an Allen key. So you just insert the Allen key right here and you can twist this off. This is your gauge. If you're new to shingling, you might want to start off by using the gauge, but the gauge basically lines you up with the bottom of the shingle and puts your tip right where you need to be firing. So you can adjust this gauge back and forth depending on what type of shingle you're using. This is a gaff shingle. So that's the size right there. Next off on the bottom here, we have a pivoting hose connection. Now I added this part, it does not come with this part for the hose. This one has a pivot on it as well, this does not come with it. So it's nice when the framing guns have a pivot on them. You don't have to add the second pivot, I just had this laying around so I just tossed it on there. So this is a really nice connection. Inside though is where this gun really shines. There's a filter in here that allows you to capture all that dirt and grime before it gets through the gun. So a lot of the times when I'm framing in the winter, my hoses are laying around, they get ice in them, they get some mud, dirt. Because of the Max framing guns, and all of them have this, there is a filter inside. So as you push the air through, it's capturing all the dirt and grime, not getting into your diaphragm, and that way your gun is gonna last a lot longer. When you take the hose off, it expels the air out of this little hole, and that pushes any of the debris that was caught earlier that day. So really cool design, keeps your guns from jamming up. I've never had a diaphragm issue with any of my guns, and I gotta say, they are superior in that level of performance. The other cool thing with this gun is it does sit nicely just like that. So if you're on the roof, you can just lay your gun like this. It also has these bars on the side that will protect the overall gun from getting marred up. Now we're gonna fire some nails here. So they also give you a pair of glasses 
with the Allen key and the tool itself. Another thing before I use my gun, I put a couple drops of oil in here. This is a gun that requires oil. It says so right on the side. So you just wanna put a couple drops of oil, making sure that your diaphragm and everything inside is nice and lubricated. All right, here we go. So I'm shooting backwards, but that's just for show. So we're just gonna fire off some nails here. Now you can change the depth. I'm gonna sink these as far as I can so you can see how deep we can go. So I've got this all the way down, which means it's probably gonna blow right through the shingle. So we'll do it over here. You can see it's starting to crack the shingle a little bit there. So that's too deep. So we just wanna dial that back somewhere in there maybe. A little better. So let's do a speed test here. See how fast we can nail this out. That was a little too fast. I didn't set those, but you can see this thing is incredibly fast. When we're hitting in the sweet spot, the nails are setting perfectly and you could dial this right in to whatever you need. Make sure your air is set properly between 70 and 100 pounds and this is just an awesome gun. So if you're a beginner, you might want to use this gauge. You'd be coming from this side, like this, and then you can kind of line it up and press. Now this has two ways to fire. I can just hold down the trigger and bump fire, or I can push this in and press the trigger once, and it'll shoot one nail. Or I hold the trigger down and just bump, and it shoots them in just like that. So you got two ways to shoot. It's good to have that option to be able to just hold it down, put one nail, just in case you're doing some flashings or whatever and you wanna have a controlled shot. So one of the biggest things for me is being able to work in the winter. We live in Canada, it gets really cold here. The Max USA guns have been the only guns for me that have worked in the winter time. Hands down, if it's like minus 25 degrees Celsius, I can still use my framing guns. They never jam up, the diaphragms never stop working. So that's why I love these guns. They just never stop working. They just last so long. I've had these guns for years, especially this one right here. I can't remember how long, but I think I've had it for 15 years and it's built many houses and it just keeps going. So I gotta say, I love this gun. I highly recommend it. It's super fast, it's really light. It's small, easy to use. You're gonna get really good product out of this. Loading and unloading of the nails is incredibly fast. You got that magnet in there, which is important. I just find it's really easy to use. Some other guns are a little bit finicky, but this is just so easy to use. Having that cartridge in here is also a really good plus because you know you're not gonna get any jams in here. And I think that's probably why I never have any issues. It's just clearing away all that debris. All right, guys, I hope the video was helpful. Until next time, keep on crushing it and we'll catch you later.